Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We are back with Call Times Gates for Ostfront, and we are here with the new late war infantry units for the USA. Yeah, we've done the Germans, we've done the Russians slash Soviets, and now it's the USA's turn. So, lots of units being added, um, as we can see on the research tree. Things have massively expanded for the USA as well. I'm pretty sure these are all new infantry units. There's a lot to kind of take in, so it's tough to work it out, but we'll go through them individually and we'll do our best to show them off. So We'll start here at the Rifle Squad 1944. I believe they are. Um, it is here. Rifle Squad 1944. 17 pop cap, 233 manpower. So, quite a big squad. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? Now, your standard that's a 200 HP, 125 stamina. Got a nice mix of weapons, M1 Garands. You also have some scouts in there, which I believe will have the recon ability. So they'll have the increased range. You also have, have Grenadier in there, which is fantastic. More riflemen. You also have a bazooka in there, which is the M1A1 bazooka, which is pretty damn good. Has 82 mils pen. Nice little medium to light anti-tank. And you've got BAR, and you have more automatic riflemen support for the M1 Garands. So a really good solid squad for the points cost. Can do multiple things. Anti-tank, anti-armor. Obviously, the bazooka's a reloadable anti-tank weapon, which is fantastic. Next, we have the Armoured Rifle Squad 1944, which are here, which is 23 manpower, uh, pop cap, 328 manpower. And obviously, they come with the half track with 50 gallon on the ring, which is great. You also get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus a driver. So you get 13 men altogether. I believe there's a driver in. Maybe it's 12 if the driver is included. I always can't remember. But you get some really good weapons. So obviously, you get the grease gun on the driver. That's in there. You get M1 Garands, you get, I believe you get a Grenadier, yeah, you get a rifle grenade there. You get a Bazooka, which is the M1A1, and you get no BAR in this one, which is a shame. But you do get the 50 cal and the half track. I do say the half track for the Americans is the best offensive wise, not the best armor wise, but the 50 cal can shred light vehicles and other half track. So it gives it large amounts of firepower and makes them pretty damn powerful. Next, we have the Engineer Squad 1944. Oh, obviously, we've got to show where they are on the tree, sorry. Got that. So the Rifle Squad 1944, I believe, is... Oh, God, where is it? I believe it's there. And the Armoured Rifle Squad 1944 is there. Next is the Engineer Squad 1944, which is there. So Engineer Squad Mounted 1944, this is. And there's a standard Engineer Squad 1944 as well. I don't know if I have them on, so let me just check. I may have missed them off. Here we go. One sec, we'll, dro we'll drop them in just now as well. So Engineers, oh, that's mounted as well, bugger off. Uh, I think there was an Engineer Squad 1944. No, all right, Engineer Squad 1944, we'll leave it at that. Let's just check the research tree. So the Engineer Squad mounted 1944 is down there, at the dead end of the track. Now, this unit is quite useful, obviously. It's mixed, it's 24 pop cap, 379 manpower, which obviously... Quite pricey, but you do get a lot of troops. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus, you get the half track with fifty cal. You obviously get your driver with your grease gun. You get your everyone's got two hundred and hundred twenty-five HP and stamina. Twos and threes like the rest. The same with the other squad. Twos and threes, basic stats. Obviously, everyone knows this by now. I think you get the squad leader. You don't get a rifle grenade in there, but you do get an actual engineer, like a field engineer. You get AP minor, AT minor. And you get a bazooka, but with the M9 bazooka, which is even stronger, and an assistant. So this is a really good mixed defense squad. The field engineer is great for building defenses, and the mines make it very useful. Plus, you get the half track with the 50 cal. I'd say worth that heavy point cost because the miners and the field engineer makes it a very versatile squad. Fantastic unit. Next, you have Veterans Rifle Squad 1944, which is here. 24 pop cap, 297 manpower. But these obviously going to have good stats of so 230 HP, 162 stamina. They also have fours and fives, so they're veteran units. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve men. You get some decent weapons. You obviously get M1 Garand. You get two BARs. Obviously, me and Persian use the veteran rifles anyway. So me and Pugo, but these obviously 1944. You also get that bazooka, the M9 bazooka, which is really good. Um, you also get, I believe, a rifle grenade in there somewhere. Yet yeah, you get a rifle grenadier in there as well. You actually get two rifle grenadiers, which is pretty crazy. So you get loads of AT. You do get a horrible grease gun. That was actually built to replace the Thompson, so it's far cheaper, but it's absolute garbage compared to the Thompson. But you get a lot of firepower from this squad. 
And I think it's very fairly priced. And the veteran rifle squad, I believe, is 1944 is there. So it's quite far down the research tree, but it will be because it's late war infantry. Then next we have the 22nd AD rifle squad mounted 1944, which is um it, second AD right my rifle squad 1944, 27 pop cap 355. And these are here, right at the end of the tech tree. And these guys give you quite a lot of troops. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But you get, you know, good stats, 300 HP, 240 stamina. So these are even more elite than the veterans. And these have got threes and fours, so good, obviously, stats. Not as high as the veterans, which I believe are fours and fives, but good health is very useful. They do get rifle grenades too. They also get a bazooka, which is the only the M1A1 though. You also get a BAR and a support weapon. So a nice squad. Obviously, you get that 50 caliber as well, which is really useful on it. But the fact that they have 300 HP makes them pretty damn tough. A decent regen on the stamina. Not, and it's actually better than most of the other ones. It's 5.4, so no one's come close to that so far, which is really good. Did forget about that. My apologies. But yeah, really good squad. I think it's fairly priced for the good health. Next, you have Mountain, Mountain Rifle Squad 1945, which is here. 24 pop cap, 399 manpower. I believe it is here, down here, Mountain Rifle Squad 1945. Very, very cool. These guys have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You get two BARs, which is really good. You get a bazooka, which is the M9 bazooka. You get two grenadiers, and you get a sniper, which is insane. But you get the horrible grease gun. They have 300 HP, 200 stamina, and threes and fours. But they have some really good firepower, and the stamina really does help. Uh, not the stamina, the sniper really helps. And 4.5 stamina regen, which is really good. Not as good as the AD rifle squad, but still really useful. Very good kind of medium to long range combat troops, especially that sniper support. I like it. And good AT units. Definitely worth the manpower and points. Next, you have Mountain Pioneer Squad, which is 14 pop cap, 155 manpower. These are 300 HP, 200 stamina, good regen, good health regen, actually, I would say. Better than, yeah, so Mountain Pioneers. They also come with some decent weapons. They've got Carbine in the squad leader unit, 300 HP, 200 stamina, threes and fours. They also come with a Bazooka, which is nice. <clears throat> um, yeah, they are, there's no BARs in there. They are got Carbines, which is kind of a bit different. I'd say they're weaker because they have Carbines, but... They do have good stats for infantry, which makes them pretty damn good for health regen and stuff like that and stamina. So quite a good like mobile anti-tanks one, I'd say, personally. And obviously they're down there on the Mountain Pioneers, but quite far down that research tree. Next, we have the 101st Glider Squad 1944, which is there. So these guys are so 24 pop cap, 290 manpower. So quite pricey. These are, whereabouts are these on the thing? I think they're here. Yep, yeah, Glider Squad 1944. Is that it? Yeah, because that's part. Yeah, 82nd Glider Squad 1944. So on the Pioneer, on the Glider tree, shall I say. And. Oh, one sec. 101st Glider Squad, I mean, 1944. Sorry, my bad. But 24 Pop Cap 290. And they, they are there. 101st Glider Squad 1944. There we go. They're there on the tech tree, my bad. And these guys are pretty damn good. Good stats 300 HP, 200 stamina, threes and fours. They get a lot of firepower. You get two grenades. You get the Thompson, yes, the true submachine of the US. You get the Bazooka, which is the M1A1, I believe. You also get two BARs. Tons of firepower, good stats, and obviously they are a glider squad. They tend to be pretty elite. They tend to be good troops. They tend to have a lot of smoke, frags, and tank weapons. These are a good all-round squad, good core unit, good solid force, and good stamina regen. Very fast and mobile. Very, very useful. Next, we have the 1st Rifle Squad 1944, First Division Rifle Squad, which will be there, there you'll be, good First Division Rifle Squad, yeah. Uh, first Rifle Division Rifle Squad 1944, there they are, right at the end. So these guys, 24 pop cap, 297 manpower, 3, 4, 5 HP, 260 stamina. Now, the stamina regen's good, the HP regen's not great, but 4s and 5s, lots of firepower, you've got a Rifle Grenadier, you have a Thompson, love the Thompson. You've got an M9A1 bazooka, the better bazooka. You've got two BARs, and you've got a lot of firepower in there with the M1 Garands. So that is a very, very potent squad. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And the HP is fantastic and good stamina region and good stats. So a very good elite unit can definitely go toe to toe with the best and deliver a lot of pain to your enemies. Next, we have the first AD rifle squad, 1944. 
So, the first AD Rifle Squad 1944 mounted. These guys are, there they are, 30 pop cap, 390 manpower. Holy moly. But they come with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 guys. Uh, they are 3, 4, 5 HP, 260 stamina, 4s and 5s. An elite unit. You get, obviously, the main guy's got a, what's he armed with? The Grease Gun. But you do get two grenadier rifle rifle grenadiers. You do get the M9 bazooka, and you do get a BAR. Still a very good mounted squad, 50 cal, more elite troops, great health, great stamina, good stamina regen, lots of firepower, and good anti tank. Very good all round elite infantry unit, fantastic, definitely worth the points. Got to agree. And mounted. Then we have the 82nd glider squad, 1944. These guys are up here. Now, these guys are, stats-wise, there's 300 HP, 240 stamina, good stamina regen, 4s and 5s, and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so a big squad. You get the Bazooka, which is the M9, good. You get two BARs, that's pretty damn epic. You also get that glorious Thompson, that's like we'd see, and you also get two Grenadiers, so good AT, good health, good, great, good health, good stamina, and good stats. Another good elite, like veteran elite unit. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best, deliver lots of damage, and deal with any threat. The US have some amazing late war infantry, I must say. They're very, very versatile, very flexible. I'm liking this. And these, obviously, 24 pop cap, 297 manpower. Very definitely worth it, worth it. Then we have the 82nd Glider Pioneer Squads. These are 16 pop cap, 193 manpower. They are 300 stamina, uh, HP, 240 stamina. Their HP regen is better than the Glider Squad. That is good HP regen, which is really good. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. They also have a Flamer. No AT, which is a shame. And it's more M1 Garands, but fours and fives. This is definitely more of a specialist unit designed to get in there. They are Pioneers, so they'll probably have some Satchel Charge and certain weapons. I think their Satchels are on the backs of some of them there. But the Flamer makes them very useful for clearing stuff out. But, oh, you do get one rifle grenade for a bit of light to tank, but the flamer alone makes that a very versatile support unit for a glider-based assault, which is very, very cool. Anyway, and they're quite cheap, 193 mile power and 16 pop cap. Then we have the Ranger Assault Squad 1944. Obviously, these are on the Ranger tree uh, down here. I believe a bit. So, Ranger Assault Squad 1944, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 guys, 375 HP, 300 stamina. So hell HP regen is not great. 7.5 stamina regen. Fours and fives. You get the rain, the rifle, uh, the squad leader gets the Thompson, which is great. You do get no grenadiers, I don't believe. No, no grenadiers there. You also get another Thompson, which I like. I like the SMGs. You do get a BAR. You don't get any anti-tank in that squad, which is unfortunate. But they are definitely good at sorting positions of storming trenches. They're very fast, very fast, very fast stamina regen. These supported with decent anti-tank can really shred enemy infantry and take those positions. Uh, I can't remember what the... Is it Rangers lead the way? And these truly do lead the way. They'll shred any infantry units. They're really good. I have a 22 pop cap and I believe it's 254 manpower. I think they're very good for the stats. That's actually very cheap. Next, we have the Ranger Assault Section MG 1944, which is obviously just there. And you basically get... MG crew with a brand new 30 cal, so you get two men, plus three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Obviously, 375 HP, 300 stamina, same stats, fours and fives. You do get two Thompsons and some riflemen. You don't get any rifle grenades, but you do get the brand new 30 cal. So really good if you want to bring a 30 cal in. I personally don't like these because obviously it just adds a 30 cal machine into the squad. But for 22 pop cap and 296 manpower, it's still an absolute steal. Then we have the Ranger Special Weapons Section 1944. It's 12 pop cap, 212 manpower. And that is there. And that dead end. It's on the Ranger dead end. The Ranger now stops there. And this is a very interesting unit. 375 HP, 300 stamina, 4s and 5s. But obviously you get that bazooka. You've got M9 bazooka there. You've got the Assistant, which also has an M9 bazooka. So you've got crap tons of AT. You also get a 60mm mortar. So this is good if you want to bring some firepower for the Rangers. And at 22 um 12 pop cap and 212 manpower that's a steal for what you're getting really good at and really good support unit so that's actually really cool next then we have the 101st airborne engineering section 944 101st being some of my favorite me and pug are using these extensively which is the 101st airborne engineers what is i believe it was yep so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten man squad these are 375 hp 300 stamina 
Regen's pretty good at 1.5, 7.5 stamina regen, fours and fives. You have a rifle grenade there. You have a lot of guys armed with carbines, which is a bit different. You have some M1 Garands. You do get the you don't get a Thompson there. You do get a flamer and you do get an M1A1 bazooka. So these are all great all-round units. Can deal with armor, can deal with dugging positions. Fantastic. Very tough. Fantastic elite infantry. For 18 pop cap and where are they again? For 18 pop cap. Where are they gone? And 245 manpower. They're an absolute steal. They're underpriced. They're fantastic. Next you have the Airborne Squad 1944. 101st Airborne Squad 1944, which are there. These are um, 24 pop cap, 388 manpower, so pricey, but you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 men, 375 HP, but only 1.1 HP regen, 300 stamina, but 7.2 regen, which is good, 4s and 5s. You get two Thompson machine guns, which is great. You get two rifle grenadiers. You get an M9 bazooka. You also get two BARs, which is crazy. You get a crap to the fiber and you get the 30 caliber that is man portable, one man holding it. So that makes a massive difference. So this probably gives the best firepower for any squad. And it, you know, this is for the cost, I think an absolute steal. This is 388 manpower, 24 pop cap. It's probably one of the more expensive units, but it's probably the best infantry unit all around in the game. They're very good, very tough. Really, really do like them. Have I repeated the 82nd Airborne down here? I don't think so. 82nd Airborne Engineering Squad 1944. Did I do them already? Let me just double check. I don't believe so. Done the Glider Squad. Done Pardon. No, 82nd Airborne. That's different, right? 82nd Airborne are. Ooh, where are they? They're all the way down here, actually. So they're... we're going back a little bit here. So 82nd Airborne 1944, which are. There we go, I believe it's them. Yep, yeah, so 20 pop cap, 326 manpower. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You do get some decent stats 375 HP, 360 stamina, 9 stamina region, and 1.5 HP. That's insane. You also got 5s and 6s. Holy crap, these guys are good. These guys are very good. They're actually beating some of the 101st Airborne on the stats. That's, that's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. Anyway, 5s and 6s. You're getting a squad leader, you're getting a rifle grenade, you're getting a flamer, and you are getting an M9 bazooka, the best bazooka. So yeah, you, you get a bit less uh, uh, small arms firepower than some of the bigger squads, especially with the carbines in there, but you get some amazing anti-tank and flamers and some insanely good stats. And these cost, what do these cost again? Um, it's 82nd Airborne Engineering Squad 1944. They cost 20 pop cap and 380 manpower. That's a steal. They're getting used. They are amazing, fantastic. Really, really good. Next, we have the 82nd Airborne Squad 1944, which I believe are... Uh, I'm confused. Uh, where have you gone? Um, is it that then? No, is it further down here? At uh, 82nd, 82nd Airborne Squad 1944, right at the end. So these jump really far. And these guys cost 24 pop cap, 478 manpower. So these are pricey, but you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 men, 375 HP, 360 stamina. Bad HP regen, but 8.6 stamina regen, which is really good. They have fives and sixes, so really elite. You get two Thompson submachine guns, awesome. A sniper. You get two rifle grenade units. You get an M9A1 bazooka. You also get a BAR. Um, and you also get a 30 cal. And with those stats, this is possibly one of the best units in the game. The pure ability to shred people to death. And you also get some anti-tanks. So my god, these things are absolutely amazing. Pricey, but definitely worth it. Then 82nd Airborne Demolition Section 1944, which I believe is there. Right at the end of the tree, on the dead end. 82nd Airborne Demolition Section. This costs 26 pop cap, 329 manpower. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, 10, 11, 12, I believe. You get M9A1 Bazooka. You get Thompsons. You get a Mongarans. You get Carb. Oh, you've got a lot of carbines in there, actually. Mainly carbines. That's a bit different. But you do get. Probably, I imagine these will carry demo chargers. Or they'll carry more explosives and stuff like that. So that makes it really useful. This guy does have a rifle grenadier on him, which is nice. Snuck in there. Don't really know about this unit. Could be really good. 
could be really bad, but I think they're going to bring a lot of satchels and demo chargers, which is going to make them really useful, but they look cool. I like the idea of they're using lots of carbines. A bit lighter, but that sheer weight of fire would be quite good. And finally, the M18 recoilless rifle, which I do believe is brand new. It might not be, but I've not seen it or noticed it. It's right at the end of the anti-tank tree. It is... Bum, bada, bum, bada, bum, 7 pop cap, 116 manpower. You get 5 men in the squad. 200 HP, 125 stamina, and you get the recoilless rifle, which is... Yeah, this this must be new. Penetration, right? It's saying 8, but I imagine that is for the... um like the h the high explosive round or something but i've never seen that weapon in game i think that's brand new so that looks really cool so i'm looking forward to using that i think we've got a very very cool stuff obviously i'm just going over the i think we didn't go over the demolition section 375 hp 360 stamina nine stamina regen that's good hp regen's not great but it's fives and sixes so they're really elite so the us has really also comes i didn't think they could get better infantry but it turns out they've got some absolutely insanely good infantry a lot of the weapons are still similar because obviously they came in fairly late to the war, like in the full kind of charge mode. But still, very good units for the USA. I think we're going to see some really cool things. Me and Pongo's done an infantry only campaign. We may have to do another one because we're seeing some new toys, and that M18 recoilless rifle does look pretty damn god tier, doesn't it? That looks freaking amazing, I must say. Anyway, I hope that guide was useful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Love to bring it to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and you guys have. Fantastic evening.